Hey, tubers, me again. Hey, uh, here's a little bit of a story. So, anyways, um, I found this um, Echo Charlie Sierra 310 chainsaw on Craigslist yesterday. And I was texting with the person, and in the ad, it they were very uh, straightforward and everything, and they said that they had taken this thing down to the dealership and they told this person that i did not know until i met them that very lovely lady named karen she, um, has a tree service or something but anyways the dealership had told her that this saw needed either a carburetor rebuild or a uh, whole new carburetor. Anyways, that the bill was going to be $160. Well, this saw, brand new, right out, you know, from off the showroom, is only $199. Okay, guys, probably going to get a little hate mail on this. But you know what? When you bring something like this to me, I don't have an agenda. And when I say that I don't have an agenda, I mean that... I'm not looking to sell you something. I don't need to move product off the showroom floor. I don't need, you know, I'm just like, I, I do the repair and pretty fast at it, pretty good at it. And because I do a lot of them, you know, it's enough to keep it going. So consequently, what happened is uh, they sold her another model. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Um, she's not happy with it she's she wants to come back and find another one of these three tens so um if somebody t tells you something you know that it's like oh it's gonna be a ridiculous amount maybe you know ch try to find yourself a little shade tree mechanic like myself somebody that you know really has the passion for working on these things uh it, it looks gorgeous doesn't it guys i mean it looks really good the the bar I would have stole that before I sold it, but the bar is like almost new. It's got a 16-inch Oregon. The chain has not even been in for a, for a sharpening yet, so this thing has got all kinds of potential, and it starts right up. So I don't know. I'm what I am gonna do is, and this is like one of my my little pet peeves. If you look in through here, see those little restrictors? Well. Consequently, this is, I mean, I bought the saw, and I'm just going to flip it and put a, a warranty on the engine and stuff, but these little restrictors on those carburetors, I don't, I don't see if this saw it was up in Denver, how it could be jetted the same for down here in Arizona. I just, I mean, I don't get it. I don't buy it. I don't care what you say. Those don't need to be on there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do right now on this saw is uh, I'm going to take the carburetor off. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to check the diaphragms. I'm going to check all the, the fun stuff. It's a Walbro. I mean, we have we carry Walbro parts and everything for it. And I'm going to pull those. I'm going to pull those restrictors off of there. I'm going to tune it up and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to sell it again. So if somebody tells you that it's going to be a half a billion dollars to fix your saw because they can sell you another one. Be leery. Be real leery. It's like going into a car dealership. When they say, what do you want to pay, run the other way. Just like, I don't care. Tell me how much the car is, and then we'll go from there. So, anyways, that's just my two cents, guys. This is going to be pretty straightforward. Gorgeous, gorgeous little chainsaw. Medium duty. It's got a lot of power for uh, for this this little size. And it's got, it's got the Echo name on it. So... Yeah, that's where we are. Um, I'll show it running here a little bit later on. I mean, it already runs now, but uh, yeah, that's my thing. Between that, the, the carburetor jets and somebody telling you, telling you that it's going to be a ridiculous amount, just like a doctor, go get a second opinion. That's my two cents. What are your comments? Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm out.